When it comes to air cooling the Ghost S1, there are several options available. That said, Noctua's NHL12 is widely regarded as one of the best performing coolers based on its exact fit to the case, large surface area, and four heat pipes. There was a significant window of time when the NHL12 was discontinued for the upgraded NHL12S, which is slightly too tall to fit in this case. During that time, the only other reasonable Noctua option was the NHL 9x65, a much smaller yet capable cooler. In this video, I want to help clear up some compatibility concerns regarding the various coolers and what recommendations I would make based on a few different use cases. Before we get started, please consider subscribing if you want to see more Ghost S1 and PC content in the future. I also stream on Twitch, which is a great place to ask questions and chat about PC hardware, gaming, and more. Check the links in the description below for more details. Back when I bought the Mark II Ghost S1, the Noctua NHL12 was out of stock and no longer in production. Based on compatibility alone, the only realistic option left was the Noctua NHL 9x65. This was the first air cooler that I used for several months to cool the Intel i7-6700K on an Asus Z170 board. After some voltage and multiplier tweaking, I was actually able to get a tiny overclock of 4.4GHz on all cores at 1.25 volts with stress test temperatures around 80 degrees. That's honestly not bad for such a small cooler. After a few months of tinkering with my PC and the purchase of a new graphics card, I decided I wanted to try to squeeze a little more out of my 6700K. By this time, more and more users online were sharing that they managed to bend the L12S to get it to fit in the Ghost S1, so I wanted to give it a try. Knowing this might not work, I decided to purchase this cooler, and to my surprise, it wasn't that bad. I used Corsair Vengeance LPX memory in my case, and there honestly wasn't a millimeter to spare once everything was put together. The fan on the cooler rests on top of the RAM heat spreaders as well as the Wi-Fi module near the rear I.O. Even with this thing squeezed all the way down, it still scraped the inside of my case when sliding the panel on, but it did fit. So was it worth it? Heck yeah! Not only did my temperatures drop under load by several degrees, it ran significantly more quiet when gaming and streaming on Twitch. The L9x65 is a powerful little cooler, but when the fans ramp up, it wants you to know about it. So that's it. I got the L12S to fit, and it works better than the little guy, so we're done, right? Well, about two weeks after I installed the cooler, Noctua announced the Ghost S1 edition of the L12, completely undermining the effort I just put into cramming that cooler into my case. I reached out to them on Twitter to ask if the L12 is better than the L12S, and they actually said no. If the L12S fits in your case, you shouldn't switch because there's no performance gain from the L12 over the L12S. But then came the CPU upgrade. As a competitive gamer who plays on a 1080p 240Hz monitor, 4 cores at 4.4GHz was starting to show its age in games like Modern Warfare, so I made the jump to the i5-10600K and the ASRock Z490M. While building out that motherboard, it quickly became apparent that the L12S did not fit. The bottom fan was hitting the heatsink and wasn't even remotely close to being fully installed. I actually went out of my way to mutilate the bottom fan, cutting away an entire edge and filing it down to try to get the clearance I needed. Don't try this, it didn't work. After about two hours of trying to figure out how to install the L12S, I admitted defeat and ordered the Ghost S1 Edition NHL12 from Amazon. Installation was easy on the ASRock board, and this has become the main cooler in my system at the time of filming. The bottom fan is a 92mm fan versus the 120mm fan in the L12S, which allows more clearance for RAM and VRM heatsinks. Performance is comparable to the L12S, however it is noticeably louder than the 120mm fan and feels like a compromise between the first two coolers I tried on my 6700K build. So then if you're building a compact PC in the Ghost S1 without the addition of any top hats, which CPU cooler should you go with? Here's my breakdown. First up, the Noctua NHL 9x65 is the compatibility king. This is the only cooler that stays within the CPU's dedicated space on the motherboard, so VRM heatsinks and RAM clearance aren't something you have to worry about. Both the L12 and L12S cover your RAM slots, so if you have RGB RAM you want to show off, get the L9 by 65. You can also put a Chromax fan on top of it if you want to be super fancy. Next, we have the Noctua NH-L12S, the best of both worlds if you can even get it to fit in the first place. This is my favorite cooler of the bunch, mostly because of that bottom fan and the cooling performance it provides with little sound. This cooler does not fit out of the box, so bending it to fit will void any warranty that it comes with. When this is bent, it barely fits 31mm RAM, but you could try RAM without heat spreaders to get another millimeter or two of clearance. I honestly can't recommend using this cooler if the NHL12 is available in your region, but if they discontinue it again, this is the cooler I would go with. 
And finally, we have the Ghost S1 edition of the NHL 12. It's literally in the name. For most users, this is going to be the best cooler. It runs a bit quieter and cooler than the L9x65 and should be prioritized if you are trying to cool 6 cores or more. Keep in mind, this is not going to be as quiet as the L12S, and it also requires decently low profile memory, but support is significantly better than the L12S at 48mm of RAM clearance. At the end of the day, all of these coolers will perform within reasonable margins of each other, and they all sell for about $50 US. When planning a build, consider the components you're choosing, and why you're picking those parts. Are you going for all out performance and a significant overclock? This case does a good job of cooling small form factor components, but it's not a miracle worker. My 10600K with a single core boost of 4.8 GHz is running stock with a negative 100 millivolt offset and will not overclock with any of these coolers. If you have any Ghost S1 questions or want to learn more about this case, leave a comment below and maybe I'll make a video based on your recommendations. If you made it to the end, I appreciate you and thank you for your support. Be well, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.